Okay, and now that I showed you what uh, what we want to do, I want to I want to show you um, the code uh, live coding to to do that. You know there is some there is still something that I have to fix. Uh, I want to show you how to to do it from scratch uh, because the code here is a little bit complicated, and as you it will be complicated to show you how to do it uh, from uh, where I am right now. So I'm going to start again and make a new file and make it more simple as simple as I can. I will call it um, toggle toggle .py. So I'm going to import the kinter first of all. To make the graphic user interface with Python, then I will create um, a root as the main window with tk dot t tk with a capital letter here. So from the mother of the kinter that I call tk, I am calling the class uh, tk with a capital letter, the t as capital letter, and then I will do uh, root dot main loop to make it active. And then I want to create an app with my window that would be called app app to which I pass the root. That is the way I used to do lately these uh, kind of windows. And then I'm going to do class app and def in it itself, and I want to pass the root to it. Um, so the window to it, so the self root, I want to store it into my self root thing, and then I'm going to create two frames, and yeah, and let's call them self uh, menu, that is menu on the left, and the other on the right will be self, self text. Okay, now let's define the widgets in the self menu. Okay, and so the widgets on the left will be a list box, so it will be self, let me call it LB, and this is created with a list box widget that is going to be attached to a frame number one. Let me create a frame number one, self frame one equal tk dot, dot frame, because I said that, and this will be attached to the roof, because I said it with with the frame, it's more difficult to hide an object. Uh, we can, in another post, I will make make you see how to use pack, uh, pack underscore forget. Now let's use this method in this in this uh, post of my Python programming dot .org dot org blog and on YouTube channel too. Okay, and uh, now let's make this visible frame.1.pack and I think, well, I'm gonna define how to put this one later and the listbox.pack2 and okay, now let me comment this with the subline text is with control plus the, the button on the enter uh, key and okay, I think now that we should be able to see our window there it is with nothing in it but a listbox, an empty listbox here I wanted the listbox to occupy all the space so I'm gonna do fill equal tk dot both and yeah you see, it fills all the space, but when we expand the window, it doesn't it doesn't follow the expansion. So I'm gonna do expand equal one or two or whatever. So when I expand the window, it doesn't either expand. And this is why I need to do it for the frame two. So tk dot both. And let me see what happens. Okay, now it is expanding to it. This is a list box. I can't write. It is expanding, but only. Horizontally, no. But when I do both of them, when I click on it, okay, seems to work. But let me do expand equal one also onto this. And now it should, it should work. And now that we got a frame, we want to create the the text on the on the other, on the right. So text self because we, this is a method into class. That is why I got to use this self in here. And then I'm gonna do. Let me just copy this. I don't want to write everything. And so this will be frame two. This is frame two. This will be a text that I called txt. So that I do not confuse it with the method, and so this is a text widget, and let's see how this goes. This goes down here. I want to put it uh, one next to each other, so I think I'm gonna do here side equal left. Doesn't work. Let me do it also here. Side equal left. Doesn't work either. Let me see if I copy and paste this one here. It works. Now, let me color it so that we can see it better. So the background, I want to do it in black. And the foreground in lime. Okay, self dot LB. Okay, you can see the color because there is nothing in the list box and I want to populate the list box with four. Let me import glob. Import glob as glob. Okay, simply import glob and then for file in glob dot glob and all the txt file file that ends with txt will populate the, the list box. So list box dot insert from the start this file name doesn't appear nothing. Let me see. We we don't have any txt. Let me make the Python file to appear. And here is self dot list box. Okay, there is another error. What is this? 
Line 21. Self list box in insert. Let me try with tk.end. Dot, dot okay, now we have our files here. It's uh, something uh, like what I did in the other type of video of app, but it's not simple. There are not all the features because I just wanted to show how to hide the menu on the left. And so um, here I'm going to give some color to the background just to make it more visible. Let me put it in gold. Okay, now we got this one. Let me see how to hide this one with a toggle of a button. So we are going to self.root.bin, we will use the bin method, and when we press Ctrl and let me see L, I want to go to a, a function, a method that is self, self hide to control the when it's open it or is or is visible or not. I want to do self, 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 high hidden equals zero because it's not visible at the start. And then we have the def height self. There's something wrong somewhere. Okay, uh, self height self. So if self hidden equals zero. So if it's not if it's visible, we want to destroy the frame one. Yeah, we want to self dot frame dot destroy else pass. Let's see what happens. Nothing because there is a typo somewhere here. Bind. It doesn't work either because this composition it was given. So instead of self hide, let me do lambda lambda x self hide. Now I pressed L, but it destroyed everything because this one must be linked to frame two, not to frame one. Okay, now it disappears when I press L, but it don't, doesn't return. So and here I have to say also self it then equal one so that it doesn't create more of this when you press more time. The L, so self. Okay, now when I want to recreate it, I have to destroy the second one and then recreate the first one that is the menu, the one on the left, and then I want to recreate the text that is why I separated them into two found two methods, self text, and then I want to make self hidden equal zero so that we change the state of the the window to be one visible and another time visible so that we know that. Okay, and ah, there is this one, something went wrong with the hidden thing. Self hidden must be. 0 and 1. Okay, there was this typo here of 3D, so now it should work. Okay, so that is how you can make a frame um, disappear and reappear. It is not as complicated as in the other program, but this is the basic of how you can do it. Thank you.